This is First at Four. So what are your kids doing in the summer? Pool, baseball, maybe? How about engineering? First at Four's Marcus Thorpe reports on the future brains behind our country and how they're getting an early start within the walls of Columbus City Schools. Ellie, the middle of summer, you'd expect these halls to be empty, but here in Columbus, they're anything but empty. More than 300 kids are now here at this school, and they could be opening the pipeline to the engineers of the future. Welcome to the summer engineering experience for kids. It's free and one of only two in the nation, and right here in Columbus. We know that the, the concept works. That concept teaches 6th through 8th graders from the inner city the ins and outs of engineering over three weeks. By the second week, they're going to be engineers. They're going to be actually designing and creating and building things and finding solutions to problems that they encounter. From automotive to aerospace, this teamwork between SAE International, the Ohio Department of Education, Columbus City Schools, the Education Council, Nesby, Honda, and Battelle could actually lead to the next generation of worker. The heart of Battelle's business depends on a healthy STEM pipeline and that can only be accomplished by starting early with our own kids in Ohio. And show these kids there are options far beyond the color of your skin. We see that we don't have enough people that look like us. They don't have enough people that actually say, okay, I'm a college student, I majored in engineering, and this is what you can do. Now the hope is more companies stepping forward to sponsor huge national events and make a big splash locally. This week's Teaching Ohio, about 300 Columbus City School students, grades 6 through 8, participate in a special summer camp over the next three weeks. Now, this is the first year the National Society of Black Engineers Camp has made it to Ohio. So joining us now to talk more about that special camp is Julie Zwick, an engineer with Patel in Columbus, and Matt Miller, the director of World in Motion. Thanks for joining us today. So let's first talk about the camp and how it's designed to inspire students into engineering. Well, the camp starts with putting the students in the shoes of an engineer. Uh, we provide interactive hands-on experiences that uh, really make the students think through a process, whether it's working on a gear ratio or designing a, gl a glider that flies a certain distance. The students have to overcome uh, different educational obstacles to, to get to those end goals. Sounds like a lot of fun, active, uh, summer active camp, right? It certainly is, and that's the main goal, is to keep the kids engaged with their hands and their minds. And uh, that's really what the, the success that we've seen from the AWIM program and with uh, the SEEK camps in general. So let's talk a little bit about the mentors for this camp. This is actually college kids that are mentoring the kids at the camp. The mentors are National Society of Black Engineers, student, collegiate students. They come from all over the country, Florida, California, North Dakota, to come here to teach these kids and, and to be role models for these kids so that throughout the three-week curriculum, the kids make a bond with these mentors. They look like them. They act like them, and by the end of the camp, they're thinking, they can do this, I can do this. That sounds like a lot of fun. So let's talk a little bit about the success of the first camp in D.C., and, and have you seen a lot of changes in those kids? Quite a bit of changes. In fact, we have about 30% return, uh, return rate to the camps, and the students are going through the same experiences that they did last year, but saw so much value and had so much fun that they came back. Uh, it's, we have uh, you know, anecdotes of students choosing SEEK camp and engineering camp over basketball camp and over video games and all the things that students might normally engage in. They're becoming more and more engaged in science, technology, engineering, and math now. And, and what's the main goal? What are you hoping to see? You know, what's, what's the big goal to get these kids out there? Well, for me, as an engineering manager, we want to prime the STEM pipeline in Columbus. And we have to start with these kids early, capture them before they become afraid of math and science. So we get them excited with fun, hands-on activities so that then when they go back to school, well, if I have to learn algebra to do this, okay, I can learn algebra to do this. Not so intimidating then. Not so much. Well, yeah. that's good. Julie Zwick and Matt Miller, thank you so much for joining. is on your side right now. 
Summer school, two words that students typically dread hearing, but at a new camp underway in Columbus this week, inner city kids are finding summer school is changing their lives. The summer engineering experience is the first of its kind in Columbus. The National Society of Black Engineers gives inner city kids hands-on engineering experience using math and science. The camp is designed to give kids respect and give them attention, some attention they may not get at home. Now remember, this is July, and they are coming here voluntarily in July. We're not bringing them in or forcing them to come here. They are coming here because they have an interest in science and math and because these mentors are engaging them with, with real-life uh, situations. 300 middle school students are enrolled in that camp that ends on August 1st. Join us tonight at 5. ABC6 reporter Jake Wittenberg introduces us to a 13-year-old who tells us how the camp is inspiring him to help change your life. Summer school, two words kids usually dread hearing, but a one-of-a-kind summer camp in Columbus is putting fears to rest and inner-city kids are reaping the benefits. Our Jake Wittenberg spent the day in school with them. Well, what is success for your student? Is it good grades, good job prospects, or just finding out who they really are? For the student you're about to meet, summer camp offers a lifelong lesson he'll never forget. A lot of the things are in my own creation. 13-year-old Shalil Tillman feels at home with his Legos. I um, don't have anything here, but my indie car um, took me one whole day of Christmas to build. This small plastic world is an escape. The real world for Shalil is here in this small apartment with his mom and brother. His mom's health and financial problems forced her to move the family to a tough neighborhood in Northeast Columbus. It's hard to swallow for a boy with big dreams. Just because you feel like you can't do something doesn't mean that you can't. And, um, sorry. <laughs> Shalil doesn't like to talk about it. Instead, he thinks about the future. And this summer, he's going to summer school. I like to work things out and make them better. This is what class looks like. These kids want to go to school. Yeah, in the summer, on a day when it's 82 degrees outside. It's not all just fun and games. The camp is organized in part by the National Society of Black Engineers and Columbus Schools. The idea gets students interested in a field of science that's often overlooked. The formula is driven over driving. It's the first of its kind in Columbus. Now, 300 inner city kids get an otherwise impossible chance at success. We are trying to attract uh, underserved and underprivileged communities. They are coming here because they have an interest in science and math and because these mentors are engaging them. These kids from all different backgrounds finally get the attention they need. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor. For Shalil, it's a small step to achieve his big dreams. I would like to be an architect, um, a biologist, a photographer, and a fashion designer. All of it? Yes. Even though, you know, things may not always turn out the way you want them to, you know, we, I have it really good. And Shalil hopes his love for Legos can somehow fit in the equation. He's quite a guy. If you're interested in getting your student involved, the company SAE International offers the program free of charge. Just contact your school principal when spring rolls around next year. I'm Jake Wittenberg, ABC6 on your side. Trust us, and we say good morning and thank you to our friends at a special engineering camp for middle school kids in Columbus, Ohio. The camp is called SEEK. I love this. Summer Engineering Experience for Kids. And it was started by a fellow Mississippian, Carl Mack. He's also Great. the executive director of the National Society of Black Engineers. And we wish him and the kids all the best. Also, we got to thank our Columbus affiliate, WSYX, for bringing us that. And right. thank you all.
So very much we for that. We need them. That we camp is terrific. We need those engineers. Yeah. Good morning, America. Again.